should do this first. Uh, where is that blood stain? Right there. And juggling these souls around for a while. I'm kind of, I'm surprised honestly that I didn't mess up harder. But, uh, now the elevator's here. Instead of walking into a gaping chasm, or pit, rather, I am granted safe passage back up. Honestly, I should have set the elevator down at the beginning of the game. But it is what it is. Hey, there's Lautrec. What? Black eye orb. Something happened here. Dead. So the girl behind the bars is now dead. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now we have a new problem. It's noisy. It snores. And its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. That problem be? Well. Hey, buddy. Is it you who rang the Bell of Awakening? I am the primordial servant, King Seeker Frant, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the Bell of Awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? Yeah, why am I here? Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead. Your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anorlondo and acquire the Lord Vessel. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? So you can feed them items. Uh, it's essentially the same as selling them. Which is why I haven't Farewell, been popping Joe. those uh, souls as I've gone along. Because it's just so much easier to stock up on them and then just have Framped chew them up and feed you the actual souls. You can also feed them Titanite Shards and Chunks. I think they are also exchanged for souls, if not smaller. It's a lovely sound if not smaller, uh, versions Farewell, of their respective trees. So, like, I think if you give them, like, chunks, they turn into, like, shards or whatever. Uh, I, I have to remember. Firekeeper is absent. Cannot light bonfire. So that's what happens if you, uh, rescue Lautric and let him hang out in Firelink. He kills the Firekeeper, and he runs off. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Oh well. You are undead as well. Then we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission, and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. Rude. Alright, I'll let you guys hang out, do your mission, whatever. So, next stop on this grand tour of Lordran. There was that, um, big old fortress that had its gate opened. Not too far from here. In fact, it's just along the way. Across the way, rather. I can speak English. Let's start heading over there, and I think I might take a pit stop at the blacksmith. 
Maybe uh, do a little upgrade here and there. Definitely have to level up. Get a little more endurance in the bones. Just sort out my stats in general, really. So you can do that. You can pump that. And that. Now I know that I'm using a strength weapon and I'm leveling dexterity. Don't scream at me. I I have a plan. I, oh, I didn't actually buy it. That's right. I have to. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I think reinforcing armor. Yeah, you still need the shards, actually. Go get yourself, knight. Yep, will do. Whoops. Okay. Well, I tagged the bonfire. I did my level ups. Modify my equipment a little bit. So now it's onward to this lovely place. Oh, I actually... Hmm, I missed the guy over here. I might see him in Orlando. And right off the bat, trap tile. Those snake men. Staggered. And he's down for the count. Welcome to Sen's Fortress. Some call it Sen's Funhouse. I certainly call it that. We've got swinging axes, narrow passageways, or really just walkways. I don't even call them passageways. And, uh, dude sniping at you, as far as the eye can see. I'm trying to be careful here because there is a guy shooting lightning at me. If I step too far out, he'll just nail me. An item over there, but not now. Yep, there's Mr. Lightning Bolt. Oh, good start. Welcome to Sense Fortress. Hope you like hitboxes. It's gonna be a bit of a ride. Especially if I play it like this. Uh, okay. Let's avoid that tile. Let me see if I can get past these guys entirely. See if they kind of mess themselves up. Eesh! Close. Oh, I can totally wiggle past you. Have fun with the axes! He didn't have fun with the axe. God damn it. God damn it. The recoil from blocking the lightning bolt pushed me back into the path of the axe. That's 22, by the way. Uh, well, at least I know I can snake past the snakes.
Honestly, those swinging axes are the hardest part of Sense Fortress, in my opinion. Weesh. Ooh, hmm. Bye, peace. Have fun. Yeah. These guys are the- Hi! I see you made it past the axe. Very well done. Oh, can't parry that. That was very messy, but... He's dead, so, you know. Oh my god, with this thing. At least I didn't fall to my death this time. I actually get a bit of a second chance. Uh, Alright. Good cool. Very scary with your lightning. This is a bad spot to be in. But it worked out. Alright, you stop that now. I love that. You can actually get the traps to kill the enemies as well. Okay, large titanite shard. Done. Done with that section. On to the next. There is a snake man there. He's just sleeping. I'm gonna leave him be. Oh, bye buddy. He's actually okay. He's not okay now. I think the parry actually made him take more damage from the boulder. Nice. Lambers. I don't see that every day. Here is a treasure chest. Ring of Steel Protection. I believe that is just a physical damage. Yeah, boost defense versus physical attacks. This ring belongs to the Night King Rendell. It grants its wear protection by boosting defense against physical attacks. Of the many legends surrounding the Night King Rendell, one of the more well-known speaks of his standing down a giant drake and slashing it to pieces. Man was on some Metal Gear Rising stuff. Can't wait for the next boulder to fall. Yep. Fog wall. There is a trap tile here. Where is the little... I think it's behind me, actually. Yep. Right in the butt. Ever want to critical hit someone? Go for their butt. Um, staircase, staircase. Yes, very good. Wait for the boulder to come down. So here you can manipulate the boulder mechanism. There, that guy was, uh, that was the guy that was chilling on the wall before. I'm gonna see if I can actually kill him from up here. Not that I'm gonna go back down there anytime soon, but... Eh, yeah, it'll take a minute. Okay. 
right, next I want to actually push this back this way real quick. And I need a couple boulders to go down there. I think I need at least three or four, so that's one. Two. Where are those boulders coming from, though? That's three. And this should be four. Yep, and now I can set the mechanism to just dump the boulders out the back. Which should solve my boulder problems for the time being. Now, there were... Oh yeah, there's a snake eye up there. The boulders were heading down here. And if I did this right... Oh, I'm actually short. Are there even any in there? Oh, none of them actually went in there. Damn. That's a mimic. How can I tell it's a mimic? Well, I'll explain when I'm not in danger of being instantly killed. I think this is the first mimic you encounter in the game. Or at least it should be. Lightning Spear. Oh no, that's a trap, as you can see by the bloodstain. I remember now, that just takes you right into like a spike ceiling and you just, you suffer and die. Yeah, none of the boulders went down here, so I think I need to flag this first. I'm gonna have to turn the mechanism again, so that boulder counting I did just like a couple minutes ago, I have to do it again. I'm gonna push it this way. Um, I'm curious, actually. While that, while it does that, what's this? Oh yeah. Okay, that's the elevator. I don't need that right now. And this does not open from this side. And here's Snake Man. I said I wasn't going to come down here. I lied once again. Farewell. So... Redirecting the boulder, open up this passageway, and leads us to yet another friend. Hmm, you seem quite busy. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sources. This place is not in my mind. The inactivity is Use the master key. Oh, heavens. Thank you. I say, and I'm about to resume my travels. But I must log a few things first, and I owe you a favor. I will return to the Farley Shrine. Speak with me there, so that I may impart my sorcery. That's Big Hat Logan. He wears a big hat. That's all you need to know. Like, he's another, um... Sorcery vendor. I think he sells whatever Briggs doesn't. Soul of a hero. And, uh, it's just an amicable guy. Not this one. I actually have to get it from the top first. So, another friend is made along the way. One with a big hat. And a big heart. And probably a big selection of merchandise. 
already came through here. I'm gonna have to be careful because I did set the boulders to go back toward that staircase that I'm gonna approach now. Just wait a second. Come on. Comes. And go. Ooh. Kinda close there. Alright, now I can dump them into the garbage. And... Uh... uh mm, mm, mm. Nice. Alright. Snake taken care of. Large soul of a proud knight. Is there a trap tile in here? But this is a shortcut. And there is a sorcerer set. Which I... I mean, I've walked past that set so many times just because it's just kind of like, whatever. It's a little bit tricky to get to. You have to land on this wood pile here, take out the snake guy, and you're already in the middle of Sense Fortress. But, you know, exploration. There we go. So the boulders are stacked up, which means you can cross this pit. And rolling another boulder opens this door. So now you can get the item that was hanging out here, and this is a Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. This serpent is an imperfect dragon and symbol of the undead. Its habit of devouring prey even larger than itself has led to an association with gluttony. This gold ring, engraved with the serpent, boosts its wearer's item discovery so that more items can be amassed. It, uh, it affects your drop rate. You want to try farming some rare gear, some rare items, you slap that ring on. You stack like 10 humanities, because I think humanity does influence your luck, your drop rate as well. And uh, you go to town. So. Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. You want it? You get it right there. Now. I think I'm going backwards again. I sure am. I have to go back up here. And progression is right here, yep. I'm gonna hit this switch. Or not. And just let the traps do their thing. Uh, okay. There's another set of these swinging axes. God help me. Okay, good. That was pretty clean. Sorry, fella. That's just a draw. Another four-armed snake dude here. I'm just gonna wail on him a little bit. Their lack of armor, or, well, physique, just kind of leaves them open to staggering from heavy weapons. I'm assuming, anyway. This is the problem, child. Uh, I don't think I have anything to throw at him besides dung pies. Yeah. This could be a problem. I'm just gonna have to throw poop at him. Carefully, because this also builds up toxic on you. Hmm. I don't think he's suffering the status ailment like I want him to. He is not. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um... I don't think I ever picked up a bow. No, I have a crossbow. I have a longbow. 
Yes. I have feather arrows. Okay. It, it may be possible to shove him off the ledge there. Do a thing. Nope. Trying to shoot him in the head. This is peak gameplay right here. There we go. It's a kill. I mean, I, w I wasn't trying to kill him. I was more trying to make him stagger or fall off the edge, but it is what it is. And now I have a quiver on my back. I'm going to be careful here. Just trying to... Death perception is a thing. And we're home free. One last trap. Checking for items. Nope, we're good. We're out of here. We're out of the axe swinging precarious walkway hell. And into a new form of hell. was a mistake. What a lovely sound in it. I guess there is a bonfire here. Imagine my surprise when I first discovered it. Like, it just looks like you're walking off into the abyss, but there is in fact a bonfire. A very friendly bonfire. Almost out of here, though. Almost out of here. And now you have to contend with these giants throwing flaming boulders at you. Uh, but before I move on, there are a couple things to grab here. There's a boulder knight here. He is going to get stabbed in the chest for his trouble. And maybe I'll bonk him on the head. Night Knight Shard. Damn, man. Come on. Where's the sword? Uh, Another one here. Should probably put on the covetous gold serpent ring. There's your chest. All right. Flamestone plate ring. That boosts fire resistance. Um, so... In Dark Souls, at least this Dark Souls, there is an easy way to differentiate mimics from regular... Uh, treasure chests, and that is regular treasure chests will have their chains on their right side in a curl. Mimics will have that chain all loose. And actually, if you look at a mimic up close, you can see the quote-unquote lid breathing. That's another tell. Uh, when I get to Anor Londo, there is a room with a couple mimics, and I'll take a look at them if I remember to. Ow. Too late. That time I gotcha. I even? I don't think so. Seems like you can just open them up. Hmm, that was not a good trade. I need to move past you, please. Hmm. That was dumb. I don't know why I did that. There's a ladder here. Leads onto another walkway. 
and up to a tower. Oh, and there's a dude wearing Oscar's armor. He's got a rapier. He's stabbing. He's also got a buckler, but, you know, that's whatever. His weapon is perfect for this uh, area, but unfortunately, it's not going to do him much good. Sorry, friend. Rickard's rapier. Take a look at that. Rapier with intricate decorations. Chosen weapon of the infamous undead Prince Rickard. Rickard's exploits are told in a monomyth. He was born into royalty, but wandered the lands in a fateful, ill-conceived journey. He became undead and disappeared up north. That was probably Rickard. You know. Alright, I see pots. I have to smash them. These chests are okay. Rare Ring of Sacrifice. Divine Blessing. Divine Blessing is a full heal. Uh, the rare Ring of Sacrifice. Um, Ring of Sacrifices, usually, when you if you wear them and you die, they prevent you from losing your stuff. I lose nothing, nullify curse, ring breaks. This mystical ring was created in a sacrificial rite of Velka, the goddess of sin. The magenta shaded ring is especially rare. Its wearer will lose nothing upon death and will be freed from any curse whatsoever, but the ring itself breaks. So it's um it's a get out of jail free card if you if you want. Uh the rare rings nullify curse. I think the regular rings just they just prevent you from losing stuff, but you if you're cursed, you're cursed. So you will need a permanent stone. That's basically the difference from what I recall. Now we do more of this. Actually, can I make that? Giants say no, I can. I say yes, I can. And there is a merchant here. Oh, what? What? Who are you? I took my son to forge just alive, but I am no different from those vile creatures. I was driven by you see. Ah, you think you're different? That you can handle me? Yes, I, I remember that feeling. For I was the same. So, let me help you out with your soul searching. He's got fire bombs, he's got green blossoms, he's got titanite shards. He has a couple shields. He has a tower shield that those big knights were using. He also has a Baldur shield. A shield of the knights of the ancient kingdom of Baldur, tweaked for improved stability. Baldur was the home of the king knight Rendell, but the kingdom was reduced to ruins after a widespread outbreak of undead. Widespread outbreak of undead, yeah. Uh, it's 100% physical reduction. It's got decent stability. It sucks against magic, though. Oh, he's also got a great sword. One of the gigantic straight great swords. Very few have what it takes to wield this incredibly heavy, damage-dealing monster. Favorite of the knights Berenique, known for their heavy armor, and Black Iron Tarkus. It has 8,000 souls. It also, he also has the Katarina set, and the Balder set, and Thunderstone Plate Ring, and a Spellstone Plate Ring. So I'm actually going to buy a couple of these, and I'm going to get this just for posterity. Go along, go and make something of yourself, but nothing will come of it. Thanks, buddy. So, the great sword. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a great sword, all right. It's, uh, it's a little berserk, actually. I cannot use it with my current stats. I, um... It requires 28 strength and 10 dexterity. So... Not gonna be using that, but uh, if you want to get your your guts on, you know, slap on the great sword and have a good old time. I think this is a shortcut all the way down to the bottom of Sens. I'm just gonna investigate it real quick. If not a treasure room. Oh no, this is something different. Oh, and I don't have any health. 
Let me back off for a second. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, there's just another item down there, and it's... Looks to be, like, an important one, because that aura is big. Cage key. Yes, it is an important one. Alright. Time to go all the way back up there. And see if I can't make that jump without getting harassed by those, uh... Firebombs. That's essentially what they are. They're just giant firebombs. I really hate when the B button does that. Jumping's a little jank. I'll be honest. Okay, good. Nailed it. Those jumps make me nervous because the jumping is just super weird. Mm, no, I'm not going to attack you. I'm just going to follow you. I'm going to back off for a second here. A little faster. Come on. I really hate having to use Humanities to restore health. Good. Desperate times call for desperate measures, you know? So there's nothing at the end of this bridge. Here's some cages, which is what the cage key is going to be used for. And they're kind of nice, because... Uh, whoops. You walk in, and they take you down. To the entrance of Sen's Fortress. Isn't that neat? Well, sort of the entrance. And, um... Nice, good lightning bolt hit. It's still, like, the bridge with all of the axes and stuff. You have to deal with those, but it's better than having to go all the way down. Oh. Neat little shortcut. Alright, so we're almost at the top. There is a crossbow man. I'll deal with him in a second. Boulder Gauntlets, Titanite Shard. Okay. Now there's the boss door, but more importantly, more importantly, I could not go through this game if I didn't summon Black Iron Tarkus. The man, the myth, the legend. There he is. Black Iron Tarkus. And he's gonna help me out real quick. With uh, a big problem. 